Now, I've been hearing that a pistol is taking over the game, and no, I'm not talking about the Renetti. We're talking about the Core 45, and this one specifically is a little weird because when you shoot, it shoots twice, but not exactly how you expect it to because basically how it works is you'll need to shoot once while holding down the trigger and shoot again while letting go of the trigger. I don't know if this is going to go so well. Either way, we're going to dive into Rebirth and find out if it's really worth all the hype. As we dive in here to this first game, I do want to have a, a small conversation with you about something that I thought was incredibly goofy. Uh, so we're going to do that and y'all are going to listen um, for whatever reason. And if you don't care, that's okay. Because trust me, I don't care either. I think it's incredibly goofy that we're having to have this conversation but just so y'all know i don't cheat at call of duty right we i feel like i feel like most of us know this right if you ever watch my streams you can very much so tell that this is all real buddy because <laughs> i i am not the the greatest in the world but recently i've i've had a small uptick in people saying that i'm cheating um and that's because well one call of shame uh, is is just incredibly annoying and every time they say that they're done making videos on me in the last video they're like i'm not gonna make any more videos on this person because they do not make me happy and then all of a sudden there's another video on that person hey you want to chill dog whoop, whoop, whoop. that guy's having a bad day what's up buddy what's up pal anyway um so that, that happens pretty often, but I, I've recently gotten a, a, a lot of comments about me using this this rewazd tool, R-E-W-A-S-D. And from what I understand, it's supposed to give you, uh, what is it called? It's supposed to give you aim assist on mouse and keyboard. But the thing is, I've been playing on controller for like four months, man. Uh, against my will, to be very clear, I don't want to be playing on controller, but for some reason, everybody that doesn't watch me thinks I play on mouse and keyboard, but I don't. So I don't know <laughs> if somewhere along the way, someone made a video of me being on mouse and keyboard using aim assist or something like that, but I, I, I'm on controller, bro. That's just, that's just the truth of it. So... Just a quick heads up for anybody that doesn't know. I have been on controller for months. And the reason why is because aim assist is utterly broken. Uh, and more importantly, it's not fun to fight aim assist with a mouse and keyboard. That guy's having a bad day. It's just not. Like, you can't do it in close range, especially not on this game when you have more movement than you did in Warzone 2. And they continuously nerf mouse and keyboard for whatever reason like you can't quick scope on mouse and keyboard because it doesn't center on the target like wherever you're aimed it doesn't aim there which really really sucks so that's why i switched to controller is because i got tired of dying to things that i shouldn't die to because the game literally doesn't allow you to aim at the target properly if i aim at something it should aim on the target not at a random part near the target and and that's the problem that I was having it was really pissing me off plus when you're up close and personal and someone runs by you and aim assist does all the work for you boy oh boy that hurts the that hurts the soul a little bit it hurts my ego whenever it happens to me and I'm like doing it on this and like I, all you have to do is move and try to aim at the target and aim assist will pick up for you that's the big thing but another thing that's been happening is apparently I was in one of those uh those call of shame videos and it was about someone asking me about this guy named bams who is a streamer or youtuber i don't know what he is and and I, that matters right it matters because i don't know this guy okay let me just be very frank with y'all if this dude cheated in the game F him, he deserves to be banned, and I believe anybody that cheats in a video game that takes time away from other people should be forced to do prison time. That's my personal belief. With that in mind, I don't know this guy. But what happened is Call of Shame makes these accounts and will go ask me questions or other content creators questions, and then they'll trim out the, the like, segments... <laughs> that like actually matter use it out of context and then make a video about it right so that's what happened to me is they they took me saying that like i like they took out the part where i said i didn't know the guy 
and I said, why are we sitting here fussing about someone cheating when I've seen literally people on PlayStation get banned and it's not really possible to cheat on PlayStation. So I think we need to, I, like, the whole thing was I was basically saying we need to stop these conversations. It's, it's getting old. It's getting stupid. Let them be banned. Stop making content on this stuff. It's incredibly dumb. It's literally just to make you feel better about being bad. And if they were cheating, absolutely, they deserve to be banned. But we have no way of knowing because Activision doesn't actually say what people were banned for. They just banned them. Like, that's the issue. So if he was banned for cheating, we'd never know. But he could be banned for having a, a software on his computer that isn't allowed or that allows you to change things uh, like hex code and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's a bunch of just different stuff. Plus, the freaking Ricochet anti-cheat literally just takes screenshots of you playing. Like, I don't know if y'all know that. Ricochet doesn't really make sense. So, st we need to just stop that entirely. Like, the anti-cheat works, but only to get rid of rage hackers, basically. Which means that even if you die to a cheater, like, it's really not that crazy. This guy is, is wild. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? By the way, I am prox banned. I, I can't talk in voice chat. So if you think for two seconds I've been out there slamming slurs, you're also crazy. <laughs> I, I think I got prox banned for telling someone his dad's not coming back. What? <laughs> so if y'all are taking anything seriously, like you gotta either take everything seriously or take nothing seriously, but you can't have it both ways. You know what I'm saying? Either either the anti cheat works or it doesn't. You can't be like it works for streamers, but it doesn't work for regular people. Like that doesn't make sense. And and that was kind of my point is like either it works or it doesn't. And stuff like that gets taken out of context and posted as a video, and then I start getting comments every day. Be like you're protecting other streamers. I don't know this guy. I don't. And honestly, I've never. I, I think maybe one time I have looked up content similar to mine. I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I make this series. It's called Undercover Noob. And I've been doing it since Blackout a very, very, very long time. And I mean that. A very long time. And what I do is I try and come up with like better titles and stuff like that. So I think, if anything, I have made a title similar to videos that he's made. Because I think he does this like acting like a bot or something like that. And I, I switched up my title to that, but I've never in all my days watched this man's content. The like, I don't watch Call of Duty content. If anything, like the only person that I really watch is Sally. And no offense to Sally, I'm sure he would say the same thing about me. I'm not watching his content all the way through, to be quite honest. I get incredibly bored and that's probably my TikTok brain. But if I'm not the one playing the game, I really just cannot engage in that kind of way, you know, which is crazy because I make content in hopes that people will engage with my stuff. But that's just me, man. I, I can't do it. I've always said this. And I mean, I've always said this. I don't watch Call of Duty content. I just don't. I watch like vlogs and like stuff that like helps you learn. Um, but I, I, I'm not into COD content. I, I think it's all trash. I think genuinely everything's trash. I think my content really just isn't up to part of where I want it to be, but the Call of Duty community doesn't care about creativity. Oh, that guy's nasty, bro. That was the first time I ever fell. Look at this dude. What the? Are we seeing this right now? <laughs> Is that what I look like, bro? That's so goofy. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the guys. I, if I could see this guy, I swear to God, I would have killed him. And then I get shot in the back. Whew. That's rough. Well, I've got a little bit of time to get my loadout. So I wonder, I wonder, can I get some down under? Um, let me go over here. Well, the freaking fire cell is done, but we still got our loadout. Anyway, if y'all ever see me talking about like a content creator or something like that, nine times out of 10, I know nothing about them. I really don't. I've never been in this like Nadia drama or uh, I, I don't know, other, other people like Z-Laner. I think I've seen videos about Z-Laner cheating or something like that. I don't know them. I don't care about them. I like I'm not the person to ask. It's probably bad for like my career that I have no idea who these people really are like I've just seen them and like I'll use their names and titles for clicks and stuff but like really it's only when I like spectate someone 
that's the only time i'll use somebody's name but if you ever look at my channel you'll you'll see like i never that's use it. people's Where names in my videos and if you go to my most popular videos like the top 10 top 20 even don't even mention another content creator because i i just i feel like when you make content it's got to be something that's actually creative and like brings in viewers based on you and if you're bringing in viewers based on other people then like what's the point then it's not your content you're literally you're a news channel is what you are and sometimes in call of shame and bad boy beeman's case you're a fake news channel it's a little weird and the only reason i ever mention call of shame or bad boy beeman is literally just when i get mentioned in some bullshit that makes no sense that has nothing to do with me and somehow i always end up in this crap that i don't want to be a part of so i don't know that's just me y'all do whatever you want you know like i can't i can't keep you from doing stuff but realistically use your brains like that's that's all this comes down to is is stop just watching videos I, th I think it's incredibly weird that what ends up happening is like people think they like have hurt had their like third eye opened or whatever whenever they're like oh these guys are cheating it's like it's basically like when you get into conspiracy theories and then the more you watch conspiracy theories the more you think that every conspiracy theory is true when in reality it was probably just like one conspiracy theory was true and then you became a sheep to whoever wanted to make you believe that every conspiracy theory was true so that they could make money off of you and people are just so dumb <laughs> like they just believe everything it's like you go from watching the news and you're like, you know what? This feels like a lie. And then you start watching conspiracy theories. And you're like, you know what? Maybe this stuff does make sense. And then you just start believing every one of those makes sense. So it's like you went from believing one thing, like being a sheep on one thing to being a sheep on another thing. So it just makes you just as dumb as you were before. Like you, you didn't have your third eye open. You're, you're not all of a sudden smarter than you were before. You're literally just believing the same stuff from somebody else because you can't have an original thought. So I don't know. That's just my opinion on this stuff. And I will say, like, the, the average IQ is is like 109, you know? Like, I don't know if y'all know that. It's like 100 to 109, like 90 to 109, I think. It's it's within, like, that 20-point gap. And people are only getting dumber from, you know, doing drugs and, like, <laughs> drinking and just losing all their brain cells through stupid stuff. So if we sit here and we, we try and pretend like everybody's smart, then you're dumb for thinking that, too. I mean, there's going to be information that's shared out there that makes no sense and that's kind of you it's in every walk of life it really is let me toss that is closing in. probably shouldn't have done that yeah that's what i figured oh that was really cool though I'm losing it! I'm losing it! Oh, I won. Nice. Good work. On to game number two, baby! I have no idea how I won that. Woohoo! Game number two, baby! Here we go! We are in this thing! Not really. I'm. Uh, wait, Rosa Parks on the mic over there. Whoa. What's up, Rosa? Whoa, whoa. You're just better, dude. Oh, 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 oh! You're dead! You're bad! I got one shot, one opportunity! The littlest meatball! You got the tiniest little meatball? The tiniest little meatball! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I, uh, I'm incredibly sorry for, for putting y'all through that madness of talking about that. I, I, I usually, like, try to just, like, keep it to myself, but sometimes it's like, man, it just sucks coming home and having to deal with that stuff, man. It really does. Because people think, you know, all you do for a living is play a video game. Well, realistically, I plan out videos, I record the videos, I edit the videos, and I publish the videos across multiple different platforms. So if all I do is play video games, then I'm losing out, man. This is crazy. Can y'all all just chill for a second? I don't know what... Hello? You choke and die yet, bro? You think I won't? Oh, I will, Frozen Waffle. I will, bud, bro. 
I gotta go. I'm actually gonna die. This is kind of stupid, man. Uh, there's no money down here. What am I gonna do? Oh, there's other people outside, too. Alright, let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we got that guy up top. Let's see if we can rotate out this backside. Get up right here. Oh, my. Okay. If y'all ever hear somebody say that I'm good at the game, you let them see that clip. Oh, no, 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 no. no. This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold em. Leave your balls down, 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 down. Pop your legs up. Let your mama eat your ketchup. Oh my god, I died to a bomb drone! <laughs> this game has it out for me, man. I'm telling you, I don't know if this is how rebirth is for y'all. But I, I just on repeat die over and over and over. And I just cannot do it, man. You come in with a pistol. Lay down right here. I don't want to die no more. By the way, I realize this video is about the Core 45, but I swear to God, I don't think I've talked about it at all. Um, here's my actual opinion about the Core 45 before y'all start picking it up and using it. Um, most people are not going to like it. I think I, I was told to make a video on it because I think like TC Tech made a video on it. So I set up a class and stuff like that. Basically, just so you guys know, my uh, my my graphics designer, the guy that makes all my thumbnails, he uh, <laughs> he started just like sending me stuff to make videos on. He's like, you know what? Here you go. You just just make a video on this. So that's what I do. And he was like, yeah. I, he told me TC Tech made a video on this, so we better hurry up and get a video on. I was like, all right, dude, I'll record it today. So that's that's what I'm doing. And I don't know if people are saying that it's good, but it's not. This gun is ass and I mean it like really really like not it and the reason I'm I'm telling you this is because you're gonna go and try this class and if you didn't watch this part in the video and you instead just skip to where the class was in the video you're an absolute goober like an absolute goober man because I listen me using something and you using something is very different so when I post a video and it's got all these keywords in it just know it's because I have to do it for the algo bro I don't want video like I don't want to post videos about stuff like this dude what I like doing is like a, I did a video recently on my main channel about picking up every most wanted that I possibly can and you know what happened video bombed it was an incredibly fun video it was a great edit and it just it bombed and the reality is is people don't care about real content like stuff that's actually like fun to watch all they care about is getting a gun video so you just kind of have to accept that as a COD content creator. And I'm hoping that sometime soon I can just kind of maneuver my way into maybe something a little different. Like maybe like vlogs or something like that. Brooke has, Brooke and I have a, a channel that we dedicate to, to vlog content. I just recently have really gotten into editing our trip from Switzerland, which was like a year ago. And uh, it's just, it's so heartwarming. <laughs> And I just really, that's what I want to do. I would love to do that, but we gotta, we gotta get on the, on the ball and learn how to do stuff like that better. That's I'm hacking. Dude, I just ran into. You know what, bro? Get out of there. You see what I'm saying though? Like, I'm not the average player, right? Like, I'm a little bit better than the average player. So when you see me struggling to hit these shots, like, you know good and god dang well that it is not easy to use. Like, this gun is actually just an incredibly large pain in the rear end. Oh, sir. That guy is definitely not hacking. I'll say it here first. Like, it's it's got a lot of damage. Let me just say that. And if you have, like, uh, what are they called? Digital triggers on your on your controller. It's probably pretty good. But the big thing is, is a lot of people don't and I like to play without digital triggers even though I have them on the back of my controller I can like activate them. I still play without them because I don't like the way they feel whenever I'm like trying to drive vehicles and stuff. I don't know. I've always played like GTA and stuff like that growing up. So I never really I, I, I like having the leeway basically. Oh my God, sir. Just a second. Uh, 
I guess having a bad day. TTV Kodiak Bear. I hope you have a great day, buddy. Hope it gets better from here. I'm gonna peek back. Hold on just a second, bud. What the hell was that? Sounds like there's a hell of a lot going on, dude. That guy's still over there. Fire sale hmm. active. Buy station prices have been I could if I wanted to, I guess. Let's bounce that. See, that's what I that's kind of what I'm saying right there. Is like you look at this and it's like this dude fought me with an FJX Horus, and I know like my aim isn't perfect, but like why would you use the core 45 when you can use the FJX like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, if I were you, like, yes, this is absolutely an incredible weapon. Don't get me wrong. But would I use it if I were you? No. I, I actually really, really would not use this. This is not a gun that I'm going to use after this video. Am I still going to give you the class setup for it? 100%. 100%. Even if I lose this game, this is going to be a video because I feel like this has been a, a great conversation that we've had, but... I just wouldn't recommend the weapon. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know, man. Sometimes I make videos and I'm like, God, this is just not the greatest weapon. But you still kind of have to make the video because for some reason, everybody's looking at the class setup. So it's like, it kind of sucks. But whatever, whatever. Here we are. I didn't mean to make this whole video just me whining about stuff. That's not really the goal. I just like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes you got to just like keep it real. And I think recently I've kind of been in business mode instead of creative mode. And I think it kind of throws off the way that I communicate with y'all. Whoa! That guy's way too goddamn good for his own health. Adjusting prices. Enemies dropping into the AO. Oh, I'm dead. That's Jeez right there. Is that Jeej? No, that's not Jeej. I'm still alive. Hey, 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 I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I don't have another loadout, so I kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of just stuck here. Um, to be fair, I don't think I'm aiming that well either. Just to be quite honest with you. See, look at this, dude. Oh, sh I'm gone, brother. I don't know if you thought you were gonna get me, but it ain't happening. Bucko. Oh, it's all right. That's nice. Oh, cool stems. We can just camp in the in the storm, really. Shotgun's kind of cool. I wish I could get some plates though. And I know they're down below, but I'm kind of scared. Ooh, loadouts. Loadouts down below. If I die right here, I will cry. Give me that simtex. I love that Rebirth has these in the game and everything, but sometimes I think about it and I'm like, you know what? I wonder how many people would have their loadout right now had a loadout crate not been chilling. But I wonder if they want it to feel like multiplayer, you know? Get people buying more, like, guns and stuff from the store. Leveling up. Look, another one. See? This is what I'm saying. Like, they're all over the place, dude. I've had six kills, man. If I had a regular SMG, I would definitely have more eliminations. This is not worth it for y'all. I'm so sorry. And it's definitely going to have something like best SMG or best close range or some like some keyword in the title. I just want y'all to know ahead of time. There's nothing I can do about it. This is this is what Call of Duty's like, bro. Making <laughs> making Call of Duty content is just hopping on and hoping people actually watch your video. Like that, that's just the truth of it. Cause if you don't like throw some clickbait in your title, no one watches. It sucks. It really sucks. Some people get out of that and they just get pushed in browse regardless. Like Sally, Sally doesn't have to put any clickbait in his title. I swear to God. I know his titles are like, this gun's crazy. This gun's actually broken or something like that. But like he just gets pushed in the out, bro. It is what it is. Like some people are just like that. I think what happened is, uh, and, and I went back and I checked, and he basically had one video that blew up, and since then, all of his videos have gotten pushed. Every one of them. 
and it's it's actually like kind of incredible that like some people just get that and i had that once i did have that once at one time i had one video that did well basically youtube is just a game of getting one video to do well and then after that hoping that youtube decides to continue pushing you oh they clustered themselves how weird this ain't texas ain't no hold em. oh what are you doing zen stepsis that's a that's a wild name good for you buddy Cluster. The other guy's down below. Now. And what I can do realistically is just kind of look at him right there. kind of sucks, man. No way that hits me, right? I wonder if I can do this. I've got a crazy play in mind right now. I should not have won that, truthfully. <laughs> Brother, there's, there's just no way I should have won that. What a stupid game. What a dumb game. <laughs> Give me a look, look at this. Look, 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 look. He's just looking at him, teabagging him, letting him know who daddy is. GG's. If you would like to use this loadout, we have the Core 45 with the Bruin Bastion angled grip. Of course, you are going to need the conversion kit, so slap that on there. And the 40 round drum, the XRK IP brace stock, and last but not least, the Verdant hook mounted laser. That's a whole lot to say, but listen, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more content. You guys know the deal. Just have a good day, all right? That's all I got for you. Get out of here. Go. Sorry, I forgot to show you. Here's the brace. This, that's what it looks like. Thanks.